Hey guys, Simic7 here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new uh, update 5.2, Battlefield 5. Probably the biggest uh, gameplay update for BF5 in, in months, like a long time, I don't even know. Like, seems like a really long time. Um, biggest content update was certainly the Pacific update a little over a month ago, but this one's the biggest update, like, gameplay-wise. And a lot of controversy over this one in the community right now, and part of it is over what you're seeing right there, how I had that guy spotted through a wall. Um, you know, maybe I'll just talk about auto-spotting first, because everybody, you know, clicking on this video would expect it to be about time to kill. Let's talk about some of the other stuff first. So, one of the things that they introduced in this update, uh, which I think might be a bigger issue than the time to kill changes, is the, the auto-spotting. So, like, within, like, 15 meters, they've implemented a system where it just automatically... Uh, spots enemies and the idea behind this change is to reduce the amount of deaths where like somebody's hiding in a weird spot or something like that and you just don't see them because it's supposed to in a way like fix some of the visibility issues with this game does it exactly work I don't know some well I would say no I shouldn't say I don't know I don't I don't think it works as intended right now but is is it like necessarily a terrible idea not really like there there were instances where it certainly worked when it was supposed to work and like i would it would spot somebody that was like hiding in a really weird spot almost impossible to see and it would spot them and i felt like that was fine um because that's that's how it was intended to be and in those cases it didn't really bother me but there were also cases like the one you saw a little a uh, little bit ago in the video where it would spot people through walls or spot people through smoke and stuff like that and that, I think, is a little ridiculous. So, like, the, the whole theory behind the auto-spotting I don't necessarily think is a terrible one. I just think that it's maybe not implemented properly right now and and could definitely use some could definitely use some work. So that's kind of how I feel about it. I don't, I don't think it's really good in its current state. Um, I don't think the ideas behind it are necessarily terrible, but it doesn't really... It, it definitely does not work as intended all the time. So that's sort of my issue there. And just in general, so much, so much more spotting. And that was one of the things that I liked about BF5 was the less emphasis on spotting in this game. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure if I'm a fan of there being so much more spotting now. One thing that I do like, though, if you notice a few of the fights right here, is the health bar on the enemy players, that you can see the health bar on the enemy players. I actually do like that. That, I think, is cool. Um, I don't see why they would remove that now, but I hope they stick around with that. I actually think that is really cool. Especially with the time to kill changes, because now I feel like you kind of need that health bar. It just feels kind of ridiculous. I guess you could say the health bar is kind of redundant because you have like the enemy hit uh, score that you see. But for me, it's a lot easier to just look at that health bar because it's near where I'm shooting. Uh, whereas like the enemy hit is a little bit under where I'm shooting, so I'm not really focused on that when I'm trying to aim properly, if that makes sense. So I do like the health bar because it's an easier way for me to see like mid fire fight how I'm how I'm doing in that fight, and uh, and yeah I like it I don't I don't really see any issue with that. Another really cool thing, and you'll perhaps see it a few times in this gameplay if you pay attention to the mini map, um, is it now shows there's a, like a little icon it shows when you are spotted. So like this is the first this is actually a first for a battlefield game I don't think any battlefield game has ever done this. It actually shows when you are spotted uh, in the bottom left, which is really cool. Like, I think that's really, I think, I think that's awesome. I think that's something that should have been in for, since spotting was introduced to Battlefield games. Uh, it just made sense to me that it was, like, not, not really that fair that people could spot you and you'd have this, like, overpowered effect on you and you wouldn't have any idea about it. Now that you know that you're spotted, you can kind of play around it and it doesn't feel as unfair. So I actually think that's pretty cool, and I think it was necessary for this update with the amount of spotting that was added this update. I think it was absolutely necessary to have that. Uh, one really cool little thing is you uh, you actually get XP for destroying spotting flares now, and uh, spotting flares have been very, very, very useful in Battlefield V for quite a while now, and, and still very useful even with this extra spotting added in. And uh, I think that's awesome. I'm really glad that you get points for it, um, because hopefully it encourages more people to shoot those down because spotting flares can be a huge nuisance if you play against a team that uses them really effectively and uh yeah any any reason to to give people a little more a little more motivation to to shoot them down i think is i think is good um another thing too and i i imagine you'll probably see this a few times in the gameplay again looking at the mini map is that when enemy players are spotted those spotting flares uh, on the mini map it actually shows the direction of them now so it doesn't just show like the red dot it shows um, 
the angular uh, direction where they are facing. Now this, I don't really know if I like this to be honest. Um, I thought I thought just showing the red dot was fine enough inter information. I don't think you needed more information than that. I think that the, the fact that you can see like the angles that they're looking at makes flanking like a little bit too easy. I don't I don't feel like you need that much information. So I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of that yet. Um, I don't really think it's like gameplay. I don't I don't really think it's like game breaking or anything, but. Yeah, I could probably do without it. I don't. I don't really think that's that's uh, that fair. Again, of course, it's it's nice that they show that you're spotted now, so at least you know that. But again, it doesn't really help as much knowing that you were spotted when the other team has literally constant updates on where you're looking. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It seems kind of weird to add that in with the UR spotted change. I would like to see it go back to just the the dots. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't know if this is gonna be that big of an issue in the majority of lobbies and the majority of fights. But uh. I don't know. Competitively and casually, honestly, I don't. I don't really see it being that good of a thing. So yeah, that's uh, that's most of the like the spotting related stuff I wanted to talk about. Uh, one other like little side thing, I guess, is they increased. I believe on all the weapons. I'm not sure if it's all the weapons, but I I think it is. Uh, the amount of base ammo that you spawn in with, which I think is really cool. I'm I'm super glad that they did that, and I think that it was absolutely necessary with this update uh, because of the time to kill changes so knew, you knew we were going to get into it at some point so the time to kill changes are the big big topic uh, hot topic from this uh, from this update and for for good reason <laughs> for getting the gameplay here this diffuse I don't know what was going on here by the way there was like a bug with diffusing the objective here I don't know what was going on but anyways so basically the way DICE explained it is they wanted to make they wanted to, I guess, like, reduce the ranges of fights, like, give you more survivability at range, because the range deaths, where you just get mowed down at range, felt less fair than, like, up-close fights, I guess? I don't know. The way they worded it, I read their big post, it was, to be fair to myself, it was a couple weeks ago, so I don't remember exactly everything in there, off the top of my head. But they made, like, a big post explaining it, and that was the gist that I got out of it. They also kept mentioning, like, they, they kept mentioning, like, dying to SMGs at range, like, dying to the Senate at range when you have a sniper or something like that. And I don't know why, I don't know which DICE employee, like, kept getting killed by that, because I did not find that to be that much of an issue. Like, yeah, it happens sometimes, but to be honest, if you have a sniper rifle and you die to a stun at range, you got outplayed. Like, that's, that's really what it is. Like, you have the fucking sniper rifle, you have the perfectly accurate rifle that can one-tap headshot the guy, or you can work cover to work some body shots, whereas he has to hit, had to hit, what was it, like maybe six to eight shots in succession? Yeah, the stun didn't have a lot of recoil, but, but like, I don't know, man, you have, the, you have the sniper rifle. You have the advantage in that scenario still. Like, if you die to that stun guy, it's on you. And in this update now, like, like before, I felt like you could get those kills. I felt like you could get those kills on snipers if you outplayed them, if they choked. Now, it is so hard. You have to be going against an absolutely awful player to win a fight like that at range with an SMG or, or like a, a short range LMG or AR, like a gun outside of its in, intended range. Um, you have to do so much now. Like the snipers and the bolt actions are just like so powerful. They're like the best guns in the game now. The medic class with the jungle carbine is probably the best class in the game. It's probably the, be the meta now because at range, it just takes so many shots to kill, and yeah, you get a lot of close range action in Battlefield 5, but on some of these maps, you also get a ton of long range action. Like, I don't know, I don't really know what DICE was thinking, thinking that, like, these 20 meter ranges for these guns, uh, like, for their damage drop off would be fine, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, it doesn't play out well. Like, you, you have to, you have to play such a specific play style now. Um, in order to get guns within their intended range, and if uh, there are so many fights now, where when I'm using certain guns, if I see somebody at a certain range, like with a Suomi pre-patch, I would take that fight, and most people would lose that fight, but I would take that fight because I use the Suomi a lot. I know the recoil on it, and I felt confident with it. Now, I don't really care about my gun skill. The gun just doesn't do enough. It doesn't really matter. My gun skill doesn't really matter at this point, at some of these ranges, because I know that I'll hit like. Nine shots in succession, and just to get sniped on that ni that ninth shot before I get like the 
the 10th shot kill, or in a lot of cases, like, the 12th or 13th shot kill. Um, it's a bit ridiculous, and I don't really, I don't really enjoy it. Now, within the intended ranges, like, the extra bullet to kill, I don't think feels that bad, to be honest. Like, within, like, the close ranges, where it's mostly just, like, one extra bullet, that, I, I don't think feels that bad at all. And it's a little more emphasis on headshots with it. I actually kind of like it. But at range, I think they just went a little too hard. Um, the damage drop-offs that they have at range at, like, 50 meters for the subs should be the damage drop-off at, like, 120 meters for the subs. Like, I think they just... And that applies to, like, the close-range ARs and LMGs as well. I think they just went way too hard with, with how they uh, they nerfed, like, the range values on these weapons. Um, with, with how, like, the average range is for fights in Battlefield Five. And again, like, I'm gonna be honest... I enjoyed most of my gameplay, playing with the new time to kill it, like, people are freaking out, refunding the game, or not refunding the game, but, like, uninstalling it, and, and bitching and all this shit, and I really don't think that this update killed the game, I definitely don't think it's in a better state now, I'll say that, but I'm still, like, having fun with it, and again, I do, the way that I play personally, not everybody plays like this, but the way that I play personally with these close range fights, I am often in close range fights, and I actually kind of like the way it feels there. But, when I'm, like, a fight like that, right there, that feels pretty fucking awful. Like, that guy didn't hit me at all. I hit him, what, like, eight times? I don't care that I have a sub. Like, at that range, that should be a kill. That should be a fucking kill. He had plenty of time to react. Um, and there's so many instances like that. And it just gets... It just gets draining. It gets really draining to take, uh, to take ranged fights. Um, and that's, that's just kind of how I felt while I played. You know, I'd get these close range fights and it'd be a fun time and I'd enjoy most of my gameplay. And then I'd get that one ranged fight where it just clearly feels like bullshit. And I'd be like, wow, that is just ridiculous. Um, and, um, and yeah, I don't, I, I think that it needs to be looked at, uh, for certain guns. I think it feels good. Like for the Madsen, for the Bren, for the, like the STG, the rebay roll, like the, the EMP, the Mab, as far as subs go. Uh, like, certain semi-autos still feel decent, other semi-autos feel like shit now. That's another thing, the semi-automatic rifles, I think, uh... Well, I think all guns, including the semi-automatic rifles, just have a tough time competing with snipers now at range. Like, before, if you were good with those weapons, and the sniper was not so good, you would be fine. But honestly, this update just helps really bad snipers. Like, that's the that's what this update helps. That's the type of player this update helps, is really shitty snipers. Which just doesn't really make sense to me. I don't know why DICE put out an update to particularly help those types of players. Because, like, good snipers were good snipers. They were already fine. Like, if you're a good sniper, you were already successful because you'd hit the shots that you would, that you were supposed to hit at, like, the intended ranges. Like I said, only people this helps are, is bad snipers. Um, because now, like, before, if you had... A ranged LMG, a ranged SMG, a ranged AR, whatever. Um, or if you were good with the close range weapons, if you're good at controlling the recoil, like really good at it, you could compete with those um, snipers and compete with those classes. Now, I don't really think you can. And I don't really find it that fair. So that <laughs> that is kind of how I feel about the update. Um, I liked that you could compete with everything before. Um, I liked that there was that, that balance in gunplay, and I liked that it was more about, like, knowing your weapon and getting good with it than, uh, than just, like, what class you have at what range, if that makes sense. Like, this is starting to remind me of BF1, in a sense, where, like, BF1 with the, with the snipers, for example, with the sweet spots, it was about, like, being at the, just the right distance, instead of being the better sniper in some cases in BF1, if that makes sense. Um, which didn't really feel as good gameplay-wise, in my opinion. And now, in some ways, BF5 is starting to feel a little bit more like BF1 to me. Um, in good ways and in bad ways. Again, like, that time to kill up close, don't really mind it that much, but at range, man, it, uh, it kind of kills it. So we're winding down to the end of the gameplay here, and that's, that's how I feel on the TTK changes. I think that they need to... Specific weapons they need to look into, because certain weapons have just been absolutely killed balance-wise. Um, I think that all weapons in general, though, like the ranges, I think they need to relook at the ranges that they decided to, um, like, make the damage drop off and, and such. It's just uh, a bit too much, in my opinion, quite a bit too much. And, uh, yeah, I think with, with some adjusting, I think that this time to kill could end up feeling pretty good, but it is not in a good state right now. 
I, I think that they could nail it, but the unfortunate thing is that they had the balancing of this game in a pretty good state for, uh, you know, after like a year's work, and then after that year's work, they decided to fuck it up again. Now it might take another year's work to get it back in place. But that's how I feel. Let me know how you guys feel. See you in the next video.